Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Tello, and as always, welcome to another World of Warcraft video. And today's video, it's not going to be like the usual ones. This is actually another special type of video, kind of similar to the Duskwood video, if you do remember, where we walked through Duskwood, and we just had a conversation. And I love doing these type of videos because um, I like to connect with you guys. I like to talk to you, you know, memes aside, jokes aside. At the end of the day, it's always Hydration Nation. It's always, you know, locking it in mentality. We got the big water bottle, as usual. The editor's doing all right. He's not on high alert today. He's doing fine. We got him strapped to a chair over there with duct tape on his mouth, but he's doing all right. He's okay. If he says another word, though, he might jump off the... Let me settle down. Let me settle down. I might throw him off the GW, but who knows? That's a story for another day. We don't got the $18 to go to the GW. Settle down. However, we're locked in, or whatever the price is to go over the bridge. They're increasing those prices in New York. It's kind of fucking insane. However... Let's lock it in. Let's make sure we're chilling. Everybody's having a good day. I think it's Thursday already. We're already speeding through this week, which is kind of crazy. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. You had some good food. I think today, what's your boy eat? Started off the day with a little eggs. I told you, I love eggs, bro. I love eggs. A little salt pepper, um, especially like a Mexican-style egg, like an omelet. However, um, with some eggs, had some potatoes, uh, had a little toast, a little jelly, a little uh, Irish butter. And then what else we have? Just a small dash of ketchup and I believe some turkey bacon. And then we ended the night with some chicken cutlets and mac and cheese. That was delicious. And I love hot honey. I'm a sucker for that too. You know the deal. Lock it in. The electrolytes going down the throat piece. But there's probably none in there. Probably full of fentanyl. Who knows? We might get packed up in a week or so. Whatever. Nice little thirst for the hydration nation. I'm spitting everywhere. It's disgusting. No big deal. I'll spit on the wall. You better watch out. Don't let me spit on you now. Lock it in. However, uh, editor, get to it. Get to the right clip. Yeah, so we're, you know, I'm already running. What's going on? Why am I running right now? Editor, what happened? What did you do to my character? Jeez, unbelievable. So, boys, let's talk. How are you guys doing? How is everybody uh, having fun with Saad right now? I know I see some comments lately, and, you know, you see these forum posts that, you know, a lot of people are really upset with the current, um, you know, I would say phase of Saad. Maybe they're not too happy overall with what they're seeing. But I must say, I really think I'm enjoying myself overall. I think it's it's been a very interesting version of WoW, of what we've been getting. Is it the best that we've ever seen? Hell no. Don't get me wrong. Like, this doesn't replace all of, you know, the nostalgia and the legendary moments that we've had when we were kids. And, you know, moments that you'll never be able to recapture again. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's just the truth, guys. Um, at the end of the day, this this is played off of all, our, all of our nostalgia. You know, things that you did when you were younger. Things that you went through already, experienced. But Sod is supposed to be different. And I do understand that Sod is not what everything is promised for some people. Like, we expected so much more. And especially with two phases in, you know, we expected to see, you know, revamped in areas that it's it remains classic, but it's just newer things within classic. While keeping it classic. While keeping it, you know, like, true to its core. Whatever, vanilla or OG, whatever you want to call it. Um, but just giving new things to classes or fixing stuff on classes that had issues to revamp it within classic plus. However, that's not what we got. We got Sod instead. And I will say, I, I am happy with the overall progress of Sod. I do think um, at the current moment, let me put my mouse over here. At the current moment, I am just genuinely enjoying myself with my friends. It, it's It's been a blast leveling up, doing raids, having fun with uh, my guild. Um, you know, doing, you know, especially when we were leveling, doing dungeons. Like, to be honest, to me, at the end of the day, the most, like, fun part of, if, of WoW was always leveling. Like, going through the zones, like, and experiencing, like, you know, the areas and seeing the, the classic enemies again. And, you know, having this genuine time, I, I can't even put my finger on it, but it's just... You know that feeling if you're a WoW player, what I'm talking about. It's something inside, right? And once again, it goes off for nostalgia, but it's just something that we, lo we love the old memories. And having the feeling of playing with your friends and going through, you know, different areas with inside and doing the runes. Like, even though I know the runes are annoying for some people and for some other people, they might really enjoy it. But overall, 
I really, um, I really, I'm really having a good time is what I'm trying to say. I don't think this is the, the worst experience of World of Warcraft I've ever had in my life to the point where I'm seeing like, you know, some people in forum posts are just saying like, oh, I'm, I'm canceling my sub. Blizzard is down the drain. It's the worst company ever. Uh, they, they're failing us inside. They're not answering my demands. There's a, you know, there's a really big problem about that, which I noticed that when it comes to these type of games, egos are at an all-time high, from what I've noticed. And there's extremely poor social interaction skills that people have on one another. And I think that's why it leads to a lot of negative experience. Not so much of the game being, obviously, you know, the game has issues. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I do think, and I've said in my videos, and I'm, I'm speaking bluntly here and truthfully with you guys. Like, you know, I'm not, I, I don't, I never read from scripts. I, I fucking give you guys the raw dog energy. That's how Papa Tell has always been. There's no prompts. I have no fucking idea what I'm looking. I'm talking like directly to you. I'm just looking at my monitor because I want to make sure I'm walking the fucking road correctly. Lock it in. However, um, but yeah, you know, the thing is, is that I know people have issues, you know, with the game, but I think there's a big thing then, wow, that people don't like to admit is that people have issues with themselves and other people. They can't play this game to the point where they are not, uh, upset with the game itself, but they just don't like playing with other people. They don't like doing raids with other people. They don't want to be in a guild. They, they just want to do a specific thing, and if they, that specific thing doesn't work for them, then they go on forums, and they complain to uh, Blizzard, and then they're, you know, always doing the finger pointing, but they're never the problem. And I think a lot of people fail to accept that, you know, at the end of the day, the, the team that's working on SOD, I think they're just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. And this is what I said. Like, basic, my friend, saying in latent terms, or blunt terms, they're just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. And I get it, you know? They're trying what they can do. I also think they possibly, and this is just me being honest, I think they might be afraid to try new things. And doing a risk is, you know, high risk, but, you know, big reward. But doing a risk of trying new innovative things out and getting the backlash from the community, and especially with, you know, the Blizzard community, how much backlash they have given to Blizzard before, um, they might be really scared, genuinely, to try something new to really spice up WoW to the Classic Plus version it was always meant to be. And I don't know how they're ever going to go about making classic plus eventually down the line months from now after season is over you know what is their grand scheme of plans but i will say this when you have a good group of friends that you enjoy playing the game with through thick and hell you're gonna always want to play the game and whatever game it is you're playing even if it's a game that you want to say it's dog shit or it's not that good but if you and your friends are having fun you know doing it then, then that shouldn't stop you for any means necessary if you and your friends are having fun nobody should be able to like ruin your vibe or ruin your stride about it um and i, I do think sod definitely has its problems it has a lot of problems but it also adds a lot of cool elements that i enjoy and i do think they can grow from this phase, and I, I genuinely think that they can improve within phase three and phase four, and maybe a lot more classes will come online and we'll see better balances and stuff like that, but I'm not going to scream and get mad at, at the forums or write emails and threaten to cancel my sub like a lot of other people I've seen have, have done on these forum posts, which is absolutely insane that there's people like this. And this goes back to my point of like people having bad, you know, bad social skills where they can't control their outbursts. They want everything catered towards them. It's not about the player base getting improved. It's more about themselves and their class getting improved. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I know I I talk my shit as a paladin. I And that's how I am, you know, on the high horse with the light of the retribution wells. You know, that's how I am. But... At the end of the day, um, I'm just happy that my class is... I'm having fun with my class. I, 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 I at, you know, at the end of the day, like, fuck it, bro. Like, if, if even if I'm bottom tier, if I'm dog shit, but I'm doing the best I can in my class and having fun, 
that that means more to me than having these fucking raid pieces than having this any of the shit if i could just get pvp pieces or whatever or even pve pieces whatever i can do uh to just make my cast some type of optimal and just have fun with my friends i'd rather choose that in, in in anything in the world than just have just max bis raid pieces and raiding with some type of like toxic you know guild or pug that nobody wants to interact with each other nobody wants to vibe with each other there's no um partnerships or sense of growth and everybody is just like these robots is like i just want to tank and spank the boss get gear and dip and i can't accept you if you don't have good gear and at the same time um i don't like really communicating with other people or doing mechanics because i'm not willing to learn like th there's a lot of aspects of these types of people in in sod that i have noticed and i think you know, at the end of the day is what I'm getting at is, um, that's something that I, I wish that can be improved on, but you can't, you can't improve people who don't want to improve themselves. It's just the truth. It's just the way life is. And you're going to bump into people in this game that are going to make you not want to play the game anymore. You're going to have a bad apple ruin your day or the bad egg in the, in the, in the basket, you know, but you just got to ask yourself the question, do you enjoy playing World of Warcraft? And do you have fun with the friends you're playing with? Do you have fun doing quests? Do you have fun just merely going fishing? Like, you know, whatever it is that you consider fun, do you have fun with that? And you shouldn't let anybody ruin your vibe or anybody come to you and feel like your class is dog shit um, or, you know, you don't have a spot in this in raid or a spot in this dungeon, whatever. Those are not the people that are meant to play with you, you know? You're meant to have fun with the people that want to have fun with you and like you for who you are. And that's what World of Warcraft's all about. It's about the gathering of the community and the social aspect. That's why I love Classic. And, and that's why I don't really do retail. Because retail for me is just not something I'm too thrilled and excited about. When I when I look at it, I played a little bit of Shadowlands, and you know, doing some tour gas and you know, doing like the jailer events and stuff like that. And I played a, a couple previous like retail expansions, but I never really felt myself fully invested until I played Classic, until I played Classic Era and saw how much of a vibe and how entertaining people were, um, was you know in this version of WoW that I met a lot of friends in that I've done you know a lot of raids with. And had the opportunity to align myself with four, uh, 39 other people in a 40-man raid. And, you know, do now we're going inside where there's going to be 20-man raids. And, you know, seeing people that are new to the game or, you know, old and returning and what, whatever. And it's just something that this game can't be, like, replicated elsewhere. Like, I, I love it. I, I truthfully enjoy, like, these versions. So, like... I can't like me as me right now. I guess I'm a sucker for it, and like and, and for sod, I must say I think it's been an awesome time, and it's an ex, it's an experiment, you know. It's something that we're all going through, and one day it's gonna end, and you know this will be pushed to its own server version of a classic era server, and then we'll move on to other things. Um, but I might as well rock out with it while it's here, you know. It's been a blast. I've if I if it wasn't for sod, I would have met none of you awesome people that come to my channel. Like, truthfully, like, you guys who come to my channel and leave your comments and, you know, even even if it's bad comments or good comments, it, it makes me smile seeing that people genuinely give a shit and care because it's, it's something I like doing. I, I, I love doing this shit for you guys. And, um, you know, World of Warcraft is brought so much you know cool stuff to my life as of recently where i never expected to have any of this um to have any sense of a community it's something i always wanted and for the first time i can say that you know i got it and it, it, it's awesome and sod has really been a blast for me and, and and i think at the end of the day when you play sod it's all a personal journey on how you experience things and how you go about your your ways of life uh with the game and the people you meet and the people you touch and interact with you know like uh, on a on a on a spiritual level too like you know and friendships and bonds and, and and i think it's the best thing you know without my guild and the people i i run with you know my friends from jersey and you know people that are even from all across the states like we have people in my guild that are not even you know from my area in the east coast they're all they're everywhere but it's 
it's a very beautiful experience, and without playing this, I would never have had that. So, I guess not all of Sod is bad, is what I'm saying. As much as there are people out there that, you know, do hate a lot of things that Sod has, you know, and there, there are several issues, like, I, I'm never going to disagree with that. I do think one day, if the burst meta ever changes, that would that would be very fucking cool. But right now, it's a very extremely burst style of a game, and that's what we have to deal with. I do think it would be cool if one day, um, the next raids that we get, like, I know Sunken Temple is going to be the next thing, from what everyone's saying. Um, but if it's not, like, some crazy retail-based mechanics, then that would be great. But if that's the direction they're heading, with, like what they do with Nomer, I can see them heading in that same direction with Sunken Temple and anything else after that. Um, it's just the way it is. And how me and my friends and my guild and you know my boys like you know how we're gonna approach it um we're just gonna take it head on and give it a shot it's it's a new horizon it's a new challenge so we might as well not give up when you know the chips are down and start going on the forum posts and writing like keyboard warriors and and you know yelling oh blizzard could have did this blizzard could have done that yeah blizzard could have did a lot of things um but as much as we try to vocalize our opinions on something um, not everybody feels the same way, you know, because we, it, it's good to vocalize your opinions and, you know, talk about actual strong points, but to the people out there that are just very self-centered and everything's based on their specific point, and it's, it's about them having a better time in Saad than anybody else, those are not the people that Blizzard listens to, and with all due respect, I don't think they give a fuck about you. I think they care about general issues to improve the game, give them ideas, and have them learn from those ideas, and possibly cook something new one day, if possibly sometime soon. Now, I don't know if our dreams will ever come true with any type of innovation within further uh, activity within SOD, um, or further production within SOD itself, or any innovation will come out of the seasonal server at all. But I do hope for the best one day, for world of warcraft because it's a game like i said i love playing it I, I truthfully do it's it's fun i've had a blast with it the people i met and i'm not gonna you know rant and keep going over that over and over but um i i i just like to see uh good pro progression for the game and who knows if eventually down the line after all the expansions are done in retail and after the testing they did, what Sod has done, and then maybe we get a Classic Plus, and maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Who knows if they ever decide to go to a new MMO? Like, you know, if the future for Blizzard was like a Warcraft 2, you know, a World of Warcraft 2. Who the fuck knows? I, I, we never know what's behind the curtain in Blizzard. You don't work there. I don't work there. We can't confirm these things. But um, that's all I basically wanted to go with you guys and say today. Uh, I think we'll leave ourselves right here and chill at the nighttime sky in Westfall. But take a little screenshot, you know. Maybe maybe that'll be the, the thumbnail. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's that's what I want to get at. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's about 25 minutes. I don't want to speak too long. Uh, but I'm just speaking my truth here. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. You know, we'll leave it at that. Much love, amigos. I know this is more of a serious tone video. And, uh, you know, not used to the super comedy all the time. However, you know, I'll be around, okay, clowning around in all my future videos and stuff like that. It comes naturally. I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, force this kind of stuff. It just happens. So, much love. I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, keep on keeping on. Never give up and never surrender. Shine on with the light and everything will be alright. I'll see you.